first we want to look for the population reporting height larger than 165. So the first thing that we have to know is how much different between this value. Okay. So this value away from the mean. So this is a mean in terms of standard deviation. So the difference between the value and the mean is 165 minus 165 is equal to zero. So there's no difference. So in this case, if we refer to the table, we know that if the difference is zero, if you divide with any value, so in this case, the standard deviation is one, divide by one, the value is still zero. So we know from the table just now, for the zero, the probability is 0 0.5. So now another question. So it's the, still the same data populations. Okay. So calculating the proportion of a normal distribution of body height where the mean is 165, the standard deviation is 1. Okay. But now you have to calculate the student with the body height larger than 166. So now we know that the value that we want to look for is somewhere here. It's away from the mean because it's more than 166. So the first thing we need to do, we need to see how much different 166 minus 165. So the 165 is the mean. So we want to know the difference is equal to 1 cm. So the 1 cm is a difference between the value and also the population mean. So we want to know how many standard deviation of this different away from mean. So the one way to do it is to divide this value with one cm. Okay. So just imagine there's a graph here. Okay. It's a normal distribution. It's not the standard normal curve. So we have a one six five as mean, and now we're looking at the value one six six. Okay, so you want to look the probability of the getting a student, okay, of the student higher than 166. So we know that the difference is 1 cm, okay, 1 cm. However, if you if we don't want to use the long mathematical definition of standard normal curve to calculate the area under curve, then we can re refer to a standard normal curve and refer to the standard normal table. In order to do so, we need to check how much standard deviation of this value away from mean. Okay. So this is 1 cm. So actually 1 cm is equal to 1 standard deviation, correct? Okay. So we know that the probability of getting student with a body height larger than 166 is 0 0.1587 or 15 on point eight seven percent okay so i explain with another example so this is quite straightforward so we can calculate the so the same division is one so still the same Populations, 165 mean and also 1 cm standard deviation. And now we want to know what is the proportion of the, of the student have the body height larger than 167. So it's good to make a graph so you can uh, use it as a reference. So this is a normal distribution okay, of this one, of this population. So we know that for the normal distribution, the normal distribution the mean is 165 is here. Okay. And we know the standard deviation is 1. So now we are looking for the observation. So the probability or the proportion of the student have a body height larger than 167 cm. So it's somewhere here. Okay. And we know that the difference between the value from the mean is 2 cm. So it's 167 minus 165. So the difference is 2 cm. But if we want to use the standard normal curve and the standard normal table, we have to convert this 2 cm in terms of 
the stain deviation. So if one C one cm is equal to one standard deviation, two cm is equal to yes, two standard deviation. So we can know the probability. So you will not refer to this graph, you refer to the table. Okay. So as you can see, what we did just now is, is that first we calculate them, we had the value. So this is our value that we, are, that we are interested. We find the difference between the value and the mean. Okay, so we minus the mean. And then after we get the difference, we divide by the standard deviation. Okay, so we divide by the standard deviation. Then we get our Z value. Okay, so the value that we get is an indication of how much the given value away from the mean in terms of the standard deviation. So say now we have a another population this is a different one okay now with a new population the standard deviation is two it's no longer one okay and still the same question so we want to know what is the proportion of the student with a body height larger than 166 so similarly we can just make a graph so this is your distribution of this distribution so the mean is 165, the standard deviation is 2. So now we are interested to find out the proportion of the student with a body height larger than 166, somewhere here. Okay. So now we know the difference between 166 and 165 is 1 cm. And we know that the 1 cm deviation for this population is equal to 2 cm so in this case how much the difference between the value 166 away from the mean 165 in terms of the standard deviation since the difference is 1 cm and that means that the difference of the value from the mean in terms of the standard deviation is 0 0.5 okay because one standard deviation is equal to 2 cm so 0 0.5 standard deviation is equal to 1 cm. So the probability is here. Okay, 0 0.5. Then we can refer to the table to look for the answer. So we just go to the standard normal table. There's a z value here. Okay, so we can just, so the first num first value is 0, 0.0. So we can just look for 0 0.5 and then get the probability. So similarly, if the value is 167, so we have the distribution. So the population is 165, the standard deviation is 2. So we have 167, this one. So the difference that we want to calculate is 2 cm. So one standard deviation is equal to 2 cm, so the difference of the 2 cm is equal to one standard deviation. Okay, because 2 cm is equal to how many standard deviation? Okay, so we know that this is equal to one standard deviation. So the standard deviation is equal to one. So this is a formula that we use. Okay. So you can refer to the table. So after we get the Z value, we can just refer to the Z value. If your Z value is 0 0.23, so what we need to do, we need to go for the first column, 0 0.2, 0 0.20, 0 0.21, 0 0.22, 0 0.23. Okay, so this is the Probability.
So, so 0 0.5, this is how you get it. So for value 1, so this is a probability. Okay, for the value 2, this is a probability. So the, the, the things that we calculate just now is what we call the standard score because we use the score to refer to a standard normal table to get the probability. Okay, so here are the few example. So what is the proportion of the population height is larger than 165? So you can try yourself. Just pause the video and then try to do the calculation. After you have done this, maybe you can try what is the proportion of the population of the body height is smaller than 165? So what is the proportion of the population height is smaller than 163? And what proportion of this population lies between 164 and 166? So try to do it yourself and we will discuss this in the tutorial. If you have any question, you can post your question in the Smart UMS under the forum of week 4. After the few exercise, then now you should have some basic understanding about normal distributions. What is the characteristic of normal distributions? So for your data set, for any data set. And also explain what is the standard normal curve. Why we need a standard normal curve. And also you have to know how to calculate proportion of a normal distributions by using a standard normal curve. Okay, that means that you have to know how to calculate the standard score. So that's all for this week. So for a preparation for next week, the group leader for each group have to fill in the form. So just click on this link to fill in the information. So only the group leader to fill in the information. So each group, you only need to fill in one body height value, which is your group leader body height.